match. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you quite startled this morning. I think they played a little prank on you in, in putting on that medal. But I think you deserve every medal that you wear. Thank you. I work hard at being an actress. I, and I, and um, there's no modesty in me. I'm good at what I do because I've worked hard at being good. And I'm working to be better. So that part of it is, is, um, is understood. But that particular role touched me deeply because I recognized that teacher. I had some of those same teachers when I was here at school. I had Ethelyn Rod as my teacher. I had Ellerine Walker. She was Miss Bromfield then. Marie Mills, Ellerine McKenzie. I had wonderful teachers who taught me and felt about me the way I think that woman felt about that little girl. She took care of the total person. So I had role models. Yeah, I'm sure you must have sat down and watched it. Yes. How you feel when you watch that movie? Oh, and, I felt and very good about it. that particular role that you were playing? I felt very good about it. I liked Miss Flowers a lot, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all the characters that I play that I like. I didn't like Mrs. Scott in Conrack, but I liked Miss Flowers, yeah. She Do was a like nice teacher. Nurse? I love Ernestine. I think she's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and she it's also is one of those ladies that, um, that I know. I mean, she's a Jamaican nurse that I know. There are a couple of nurses in my family, and I spent an enormous amount of time in hospital myself. So I've, I've met several Jamaican nurses, and I put them together. That's, that Ernestine is, she's recognizable. <laughs> OK, you, you're doing something now in the States, and I think they've run about six series of it. You want to tell us about this? Yes, it's a new series called O'Hara. And it stars Pat Morita, who's a Japanese-American actor who's gained enormous fame in uh, Karate Kid 1 and 2, the two feature films. And he's, he plays a police lieutenant, I think, lieutenant, uh, who can't even shoot straight. He doesn't use a gun, doesn't like to use a gun. No violence for him. He uses intellect, in, intuition, Zen Buddhism, karate, all of those things to bring his uh, felons to justice. But he doesn't believe in the guns and the car chases. And his stories revolve around children, around young people. He always helps. A, by the end of the, the episode, he has helped a young person to lead a different life. What is your part in My this? My character is that of the widow of his partner, his ex-partner. So we are very good friends, and I own a Cajun restaurant in which all the policemen hang out. I give them advice. Uh, it's my role in life. And I'm the shoulder they cry on. And, um, and I help take care of, of O'Hara. Yeah. I know people like to, to, to say, where do you go from here, and that sort of thing. You know, thinking about coming back home, what does this you know, conjure up in your mind? Oh, I don't think about coming back home. I plan to come back home. My plans, my plans lead directly to returning to Jamaica to live. My sojourn in the United States was temporary as far as I was concerned. I had a job to do. I thought I didn't know what it was. And I went to do it. And I, one gets a sense of when one has done what one set out to do. And I think I will probably have done what I set out to do in another four years. I think. If by that time uh, things, other things don't happen, my life isn't going further up, then I will be here for good to live. Because my children are grown, that was a, a large motivating force for me there, was to ensure that they had a start in life that was um, good, that would help them it would, that would catapult them in a way, give them a springboard, you know. And they've done that. They've done very well. They're very nice boys. And, and so I don't really, it's nothing more I want, you know. So I, I'm ready to come home. Is there anything in particular, finally, that you would want to do when you come home for young people? <laughs> I don't know. I taught school here for six years, I suppose. Once a teacher, always a teacher. I probably would show up in the education system somewhere. I don't know what that would be, um, or in television. I don't know. <laughs> I figure that I'm one of those people who allows 
I, I allow myself to be led. And when doors open, I'm pretty uncanny about seeing a door when it opens. So I'll just come home and wait to see which door is open. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, it's my pleasure. We were very blessed to have had Madge Sinclair in our lives then, because sadly we lost her at a young age in 1995. Her life was always a beacon of hope and upliftment. An outstanding actress whose Jamaicanness was always at the forefront. Her legacy will not be forgotten anytime soon. An Emmy Award winner for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series in 1991. In fact, she was nominated five times. She was also honored by her homeland, her beloved country, Jamaica. Her legacy lives on in her many works and her story will forever be hope and upliftment.